Hey, what is going on YouTube to another video and I'm so glad I got a chance to make this video today about collect all and save in Ableton Live. If you're an Ableton Live user, uh, thank goodness you clicked on this video because this is such an important feature if you haven't heard of it. So what is collect all and save? If I go up here to file and you kind of see you got save, save as, save a copy, collect all and save is right there. Um, this is an extremely important feature and really I wish that Ableton had a, a keyboard shortcut for it because I use it every single day. Basically, I want you to imagine a scenario where you try to open up one of your session files in Ableton for maybe a year ago or even less. And you know, something might have changed. Maybe you have a new external hard drive, you move some folders around on your computer, uh, whatever. And basically you pull up the session file and some of these samples that you were previously using, maybe a kick sample, a snare sample, they're just simply missing. And this causes producers a lot of grief, or you're trying to just basically make an Ableton pack to send it to someone else to open up your session and work on it as a collaboration, right? A lot of people talk about Ableton packs. Um, Ableton packs don't necessarily work as intended if you're not collecting all of the samples that that session uses. So all these sessions, or I mean, all these files might be located on other hard drives or places outside the folder, the Ableton Live folder uh, that everything's saved in. So if I go to collect all and save, what this is gonna do is say, specify which used media files are to be copied into the project. So Ableton will then source everything that you're using, make a copy of it, bring it into that Ableton session file folder and reference it from there. So everything is in one spot. That's collect all and save. And I just put all of these on yes, I hit okay. And no matter what happens, now everything is there. So if I wanna go now and make a pack, this is when you wanna collaborate or you wanna bring an entire session, unpack it on a different computer somewhere else, I just go to manage files, manage project, and now it's gonna scan everything that I've collected and I hit create pack. And then it's gonna ask me where I wanna save it. So basically that's how you do it. Sometimes people make Ableton packs and they unpack them at a different studio and not everything is there. Or even worse, years later, you try to go back to your old session folder, uh, session files and stuff is no longer there. So essentially you, you haven't really saved anything. You've lost those session files from years ago and you can't reopen them again, right? Which is causes people a lot of heartbreak. So yeah, if you found this video useful at all, hit the like button, make sure you subscribe if you're into Ableton Live and music production topics. We do a bunch of fun stuff like that on this channel. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next video. Have fun making music.